Went to Ace, got some wide mouth jar lid, or not lids, jars, whole jars. They have lids. I'm going to use my new superb lids to seal these up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Although I use my, uh, these jar lids. It, oh my God. I, I don't think I can think this is so heavy. Give me a second. <laughs> I use these jar lids for things that I don't necessarily have to seal. Um, like pressure canned or water, water bath can, but I got them because, well, it's, <laughs> it's bittersweet. Whatever. And I believe it's the squirrels. I believe it's the squirrels. Whatever is going after my squash in my garden, if you know how much I've cried, I've lost maybe like, I think about the small ones now. I've lost about eight decent, decent size squash out there to critters and I go out there and I see it one day and the next day it has like a ginormous fist size hole in it because something's been digging and eating. <laughs> So I've been spraying like cayenne and stuff, but it's been like hit or miss. One thing I have noticed, and this is the sweet part of the bitter. <sighs> you see how bitter I am though. <laughs> the sweet part is they haven't really been touching the pumpkins. Interestingly enough, I have two types of pumpkins out there and I could have swore I only planted one. That being said, I did use some old seeds that I got from a pumpkin that I harvested. Wow, that seemed like a lot to get through and it should not have been. Anyway, I used those seeds to see if they would grow and at a certain point, I really didn't care what was coming up. I kind of knew it was like pumpkin squash in that family when it, when it starts to like uh, sprout. So I really didn't, <laughs> long story short, they could have come up and it's a different variety of uh, pumpkin. They're like the little sugar uh, pumpkins. So they only get to be about five pounds ish. Meanwhile, the Font Blanc um, pumpkins that I have, they can get up to 25 pounds, but I only have one that got a decent size and I was terrified the entire time it was out there because everything else was getting attacked literally left and right going out there it was traumatic for a while uh we are getting a greenhouse it is on its way <sighs> so all the things that it attacked i will grow in that greenhouse because we're gonna pest proof it or at least the big at least the big ones you know the pollinators can come in but me and those squirrels. I mean, we have a whole plastic owl and everything out there. I don't... <laughs> the only thing I didn't try is the tinfoil. And that's because it's getting late in the season. <sighs> but I... That's just in the garden bed. They... <sighs> that's just in the garden bed. That's not even including all the squash that I have in bags. I might be able to move some of those into the greenhouse. You see, I'm going through it right now, just thinking about it. And it's only because they they should be intertwined with the palette to the point where I shouldn't be able to move them. But because they've been going after my stuff, they don't have as long of vines as they should. So I got jars to can my pumpkin that I do have. I'll show you footage here. Now I'm going to go cry. Or, yeah.